it is the responsibility of governments everywhere to ensure that its citizens have access to proper service delivery in all spheres of human endeavor and existence. One area in which the people really enjoy this benefit is in the place of motor vehicle insurance, particularly third-party insurance. For too long, documents issued in the name of third-party insurance certificates have been fake, thereby preventing unsuspecting consumers from getting value for their money. The implication in real terms is that when accidents occur, motorists will be unable to access insurance to cushion the effect of their misfortune. This would explain why the Ogun State Government, through the State Internal Revenue Service, is collaborating with some reputable insurance companies and broken firms to ensure the availability of authentic third-party motor insurance policy for its citizenry through the creation of the e-third-party motor insurance scheme. This scheme, which will involve a consortium of 25 insurance-related firms, ensures that the customer is rest assured of authentic policy with premium cover for damages caused to the third party in case of eventualities. Citizens can also buy the e-third party insurance policy from the comfort of their homes, get alerted, and receive notifications where applicable. Ogun State Governor Prince Dakwa Abiodun, represented by his Chief Economic Advisor and Commissioner for Finance, Mr. Dakwa Okubadejo, speaking at the launch of the scheme held on the grounds of the State Internal Revenue Service in Okemoso, Abeokuta, explained that one of the key enablers of the Ishaya mantra of the present administration is digitalization in order to provide products and services towards ensuring conveniences, efficiency, and transparency. We designed our development pillars along uh, Ishaya, which is infrastructure, social welfare and well-being, education, youth empowerment, and agriculture, Ishaya. But to be able to power these development pillars, we need key enablers. One of our key enablers is digital transformation. In this day and age, where we have a very high teledensity in this country, we have significant telephone penetration. Even the uh, computer literacy is also becoming uh, very, very high these days. Coupled with the fact that uh, even the payment technology is also witnessing significant innovation. So, putting all of this together, it is important that we begin to provide products and service delivery to our people that will ensure convenience. Convenience has become very critical, that will promote efficiency, that will also promote transparency as well. So in designing this particular scheme, courtesy of our partners, it is to ensure convenience so that it's easy for our people to be able to access this. He proceeded that the e-third party motor insurance would ensure that government drives the accountability of all the insurance companies towards maintaining credibility. The more important thing for us is also to ensure that government drives the accountability of all insurance companies towards service delivery to our people. In the past, you know, top party insurance, nobody really pays any attention to it in terms of the direct compensation in the event of a risk crystallizing. Because you get all these third-party insurance certificates anywhere and everywhere, 
there are lots of uh, fake certificates all over the place. So really, these people or these so-called insurance companies are not accountable to anybody. They just issue the certificates and that's the end of your relationship. Even if you go back to them, that a risk has occurred. Nobody listens to you. Nobody listens to you. But now, with this scheme, and with the involvement of government in this scheme, and with the list of all the very credible, well-experienced insurance companies that have signed up to this particular scheme, then it becomes necessary. And even government will be there to ensure that they uh, honor their promise and also take charge of their responsibility to our people when there's an issue or there's a risk uh, from the top party insurance that has crystallized. And that's why, for us, ensuring that uh, our people get the benefit of most of these initiatives is at the, at the forefront of, um, of uh, all the policies and the initiatives government is putting in place. Chairman of the Ogun State Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Anthony Olale, spoke on the essence of e third party insurance scheme. The scheme came out of the desire of um, His Excellency, Prince Dr. Dakwa Biodem Befar, um, his dream to make life easy for the people of Ogo State. He's very concerned about their well being. And uh, we, particularly the motorists in particular, where we know that. Um, Top party insurance is um, a statutory thing that, as a minimum, that every vehicle plying on the Nigerian roads must have. And uh, in the past, we have uh, understood the proliferation of these um, top party insurance uh, certificates that people are carrying about. I mean, like um, you heard them say that, that uh, even the motorists out there look at it that is police let me pass. You can get any top party insurance from under the tree or whatever because people don't really understand the benefit of having the top party insurance. And uh, that was why we looked at it that how can we really make this and uh, bring some more credibility into the process. And um, that was then born out of the need for let's bring all the insurance companies together. Um, let's have something that is more genuine, that is more tenable, that will be sustainable, that everybody will be able to use and something that you can enforce and get the value therefrom. Um, this was a journey that started uh, more than uh, seven, eight months ago um, because we needed to really be sure that we are getting it right. We want to make sure that we get it right first time and all the time. And um, that then brought up the idea of let's have this thing from the conglomerates, which is a consortium. And when we started the process as well, we then also later realized the fact that there was the need to bring the National Insurance Association in, as well as the Nigerian uh, um, Council of Reg Registered Insurance Brokers, which also lend more credibility to the process of what we are doing. He also speaks on the benefit of the scheme to the citizens, especially motorists. Um, like I said, the focus is on making life better for our people. And that is when we recognize the fact that third party insurance, as a minimum, even if it does not cover the person that has that vehicle, it covers the third party, as the name signifies. And you see that a lot of the motorists out there, they don't understand the fact that even accident is an accident by its name. It's not intentional. So even if you have an accident, you have a cover that helps you to take care of the other person, that is the other party, which will be born by the insurance company. So your focus will just be on you sorting out yourself. So this was something to make life easy for the people. And what we are doing today is this top party insurance is such that once they procure this genuine one that we are doing, for a car is 5,000 naira. For motorcycles, it's even cheaper. For, a, for as minimum as 5,000 naira, you have a cover for up to 1 million naira damage on a top party person's vehicle or property, which you can see the gap. And that can really send a lot of people out of business, really. You know, so you are covered. Then that gives you the rest of mind. That brings also some more sanity into the minds of the motorists that are there on the road. The scheme's coordinator, Mr. Afolabi Akinola, 
also lends credence to the chairman's perspective. As far back as year 2009, the Market Development and Restructuring Initiative, FDRI, was launched as a vehicle to, among other things, drive enforcement of compulsory insurances, reduce incidence of fake insurance papers and certificates, and grow the sector. This was why the National Insurance Commission supervised set of recapitalization process for the industry. The Nigeria Insurance Association, NIA, came up with the Nigeria Industry Platform, NIIP, the Nigeria Insurance Industry Database, NIID, while the National Assembly has equally came up with several interventions to help in deepening the market, improve production and product quality, and punish or reduce incidence of pay papers in the industry. What all the practitioners have come together to do, therefore, is to help all the above initiatives by not only taking insurance services to the nooks and crannies of the state, but punish fake insurance papers from Ugu State, thereby bringing support to the insuring public. The E third party insurance scheme is as earlier stated, a consortium of 25 insurance companies resident in the state. Representative of the insurance conglomerate pledged their commitment to the scheme's success. In time past, both authorized and unauthorized personnel issue insurance documents resulting in a lot of heavy financial burden on which owners due to the fact that vehicles which ordinarily will have been repaired by the insurance company are borne by car owners instead. Let me categorically state that as the lead of the consortium, Great Nigeria Insurance PLC is committed to diligently deliver on prompt settlement of claims while upholding all the terms of engagement of this business with partnership and ensuring that the main objective of the governor of the state to abolish fake insurance within the state is achieved. Different groups and stakeholders to be affected by this question were also there to express their solidarity. Previously, we used to patronize many insurance companies. I cannot name them. But, uh, all the insurance that we are patronizing to, to say the facts, we don't used to benefit from them, especially these third party insurance. When there is an accident and we are expected to be compensated or we are expected to buy for claims, at the end of the day, we will not get any claim because we don't go to the rights, we don't pass to the rights channel. So, this is an avenue for us now to pass through the right channel so that we will not be cheated and we have a new insurance policy. E third party insurance it is going to work and work well because of the partnership with the government. Because of the partnership with the government is going to work. There are many things, there are many areas in the insurance field that uh, the insurance people are making themselves very, very blind to tap money. I will make sure when not to divide. There is one adage by um, a woman in the holding the Roman Empire. He said, Da me locum stare, mundus oevo. Give me a place to stand, and I will move the world. And that is exactly what IRS is doing. They want to move what we said forward. In a bid to curb the excesses of fake insurance peddlers in Nigeria, the Nigeria insurance industry, under the umbrella of the Nigeria Institute uh, Insurance Industry Database, developed a portal where all insurance companies and agents are required by law to upload details of any insurance policy issue for record keeping and 
or tensitation. The initiative makes it easier for policy holders and law enforcers to check for the authentication of any policy paper presented. I must confess that your initiative on inter party scheme will further enhance the digitalization process that is long overdue for the Nigerian insurance industry. And as part of efforts at creating awareness and building the necessary public orientation regarding this emerging idea, the State Internet Revenue Service had earlier embarked on road shows at motor parks and other locations around the three senatorial districts of the state to educate motorists on the importance of the e third party insurance scheme and its benefits. <laughs> Third party motto insurance. This one is E third party motto insurance. When you go to licensing office, our different uh, IRS offices, get your E third party certificate there and you are covered. If anything happens by accident on the road, you are covered to the tune of a million naira. We will repair the vehicle that you, you have spoiled, not your own vehicle, the vehicle that you have spoiled, and the third party's property. Even if it, if, if it has to do with bodily injury or loss of, uh, loss of life, we will take care of that person. Just go to any IRS office around you, get the third party insurance, the original one. We don't want you to get the fake ones again. Go and get the original one and you are covered. Here is an idea of the processes for anyone interested in accessing the insurance digitally. Open dot great Nigeria plc.com So on our browser we just go straight to the website. We are not going to waste any time. We have ensured that the vehicle that we want to we are registering now is it has expired, it's not on NID and by the time we key it in it will be shown on an ID because it's going to be automatically uploaded. Now, let's go to it. So we are inputting the user ID and that is the password we are inputting on it. So it's going to take us straight to the platform now after signing in. We are on the platform. We are going to buy the party auto insurance. The scratch card is going to be scratched at this point and it will be inputted into the website. So let's have a fix. Now, we already have the data of the proposal that will later be our insurer through the vehicle license or an expired motor insurance certificate. So now we are inputting the data one after the other. That is the full name of the proposal. We need to ensure that the full details of the proposal is on the system because it's going to form the database. The registration number is highly important because the proposal needs to be alerted that it is fully insured and that it has become an insured person. There are no two chances numbers because it's peculiar to each vehicle. Hence, it is highly important. We need the make of the vehicle. It is equally important. It will let you know the exact vehicle that is insured. So we need to ensure that all that all the fields are completed. Then we can now submit. Yes, it has been registered on our database. With that, we can now issue the insurance certificate. We caught up with some of those in attendance and they shared their views with us on the new innovation. Top party insurance is a very sensible insurance when it comes to uh, motorists in the country. Most times people just go and buy insurance without knowing the benefits. But this policy now will ensure that when accidents happen, insurance companies pay accordingly. So, issues of accidents will reduce, issues of 
insurance companies respecting their claim will also be enhanced. And I'm sure that the society will be beneficial at the end of the day. Yes, the, the scheme is quite okay and it's nice. It's a laudable program that is good and is very okay for us if we can key into it. My advice to people in Ogu State is that they should key into the program. It helps us in so many ways that if we cannot even get a lot when, when, when any incident or accident occur, we get value for our money. The insurance may not be even up to 10000 or whatever, but what we tend to gain in cost of eventuality is even more than 10000 we have paid to do the insurance. So I appeal to each and every one of us that we should key to it and let it keep rolling. e cloud party insurance is a program that it will, it's supposed to be on ground for many years because even if you are deaf and done in the way they do explain of it, we know it takes a lot of great advantage of us. We especially the motorbike people and the motorists. Because once the incident has occurred, instead of you to be thinking of how you are going to do yours and the person that it happened to, it's only take one. It's only we that we are going to take care when the insurance is going to take the top party. With this, we will see that we are going to be at a better rest of mind. Even the insurance covered at least a million of naira if any issue happened to the third party. And it's a great pleasure to the Ogun State people entirely, and especially we motorist people, that we need to turn around to come up on board to give them support. And especially we all the unions, we should go back to our various unions and we should explain that we need to engage in this because it's for our own sake. With this initiative, there can be no game saying the fact that the era of fake insurance of third-party insurance policy has come to an end in Ogun State. Since the state government, through the Internal Revenue Service, is more resolute in its determination to bring sanity into the motor vehicle insurance system, this will inevitably bring soccer, especially to motorists, who can now acquire the issuance of the e third party insurance policy from the comfort of their homes. Why not embrace it?